Hey guys, so today we're going to be covering the XBS Iceberg. So this iceberg was made by Supersonic Ryan. So guys, go support him. Go support Supersonic Ryan because he did create the iceberg that we'll be using in this video. And we're going to be explaining everything and looking at it. And the first layer we have is called Sky High. The first thing we have is the SML store. So I've been to the SML store three times in my life and it's for meet and greets so i've met logan lance elena pablo lavelle and anthony and yeah i've been to the sml store three times next up is cupcake's love for balls so as you guys probably know cupcake in my videos loves balls and the reason why is because when i bought cupcake it was 2018 i was at gamestop and i picked him up and he just looked like he likes balls. Like, looking at him, just he just looks like he could be the type of character that loves balls. I don't know why. I just thought that. So, that's how Cupcake became how he is with liking balls. And we have the switch from an iPad to an iPhone. This change happened earlier this year in February. Basically, in 2021, I started to use my iPad to record videos. And it was pretty decent. And in 2024, I switched to recording videos with my iPhone, and it looked a little bit better than the iPad. It did look a bit more clearer, and that's pretty much it with that change, so maybe that change was for the better. And XBS Simp Drama. This one is kind of self-explanatory a little bit, because basically, people thought I did simping, and simping is a word from 2021 and it means when someone gives women attention just because they want to have sex with them which is kind of evil and misogynist so simping's bad and next we have xps website this website i made in march of this year it is for a beginner of xps like if you're new to watching my videos you should go to the website and it'll probably teach all the basic facts for someone that's just beginning to watch my videos. Like, it explains about my channel, it explains about the character personalities. It even has a place for you to put video ideas, and it has a fun fact about my videos every week. So, it's a pretty good website. I'm proud of how it turned out. And we were moving on now to XBS the movie. So... This will be my final XPS movie. It'll be a one hour long movie special. And I don't know when it will come out because I want to quit XPS movies when I run out of ideas. So whenever I run out of ideas, my final video will be a one hour long XPS the movie and it'll be the finale. But that is it for XPS the movie and that is it for the first layer. And the next layer is called surface level. The first thing is XBS is not a FNAF fan. That might be talking about how I have only played the FNAF games a few times. Like, I played the first game a few times, and I played the third game once. So, whenever I saw the FNAF plushies in GameStop for the first time, I decided to get some of them. Because I was starting out plush videos, so I was looking for plushies to buy, and I saw the FNAF plushies, and I remember I played that game a few times before, so I got them, and that's how FNAF characters came onto my channel. Um, I do know a decent amount of, like, stuff in the first game. That's all I know about Five Nights at Freddy's, so I personally wouldn't consider myself a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, but... I just played the first game a few times and a little bit of the third game. That's pretty much it. Next is Freddy's Girlfriends. So, there is a semi-running gag of XPS movies of Freddy not being able to find a decent relationship. And the first time was Freddy Gets Catfish. That was a video where Freddy met this girl named Sarah who was a catfish. And next is Freddy's Recording Plan where... He dated Bonnet for a little bit, but she left him a few minutes afterwards for Mike, so that relationship didn't last long. Then there was Elizabeth and Freddie Steals the Mona Lisa, and Freddie and Elizabeth broke up because Elizabeth found out Freddie stole the Mona Lisa. And Springy and Freddie's awkward date, Freddie broke up with her because he found out she was transgender. 
So that one didn't last long either. It's just, I don't know. It's just funny having Freddy not being able to find, like, a good relationship. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of a running gag at this point. And now, people thinking of Cupcake is gay. So, a lot of people think Cupcake is gay, which is completely understandable because, like, the joke of Cupcake is that he doesn't like balls. He likes sports balls that you play with. That's the type of balls he likes, but the way he talks is supposed to sound gay. Even though he's straight and even though he doesn't like that kind of balls, he likes sports balls. Like, he's supposed to sound like he's being gay. So, it's understandable that people think he's gay, but at the same time, it kind of isn't because there's videos where you could see the balls where he's talking about. But, like, it's not even surprising that people think Cupcake's gay, but yeah, he's not gay. He's supposed to just act like he's gay because that's funny like he's talking about balls so next xps talks that is videos where i talk to you guys so xps talks i started those in 2020 and they're videos where i talk to you guys about like a certain subject and that's pretty much the extent of xps talks and xps q and a's that is videos where that's self-explanatory too XPS's Q&A's are my videos of question and answers. Everyone knows what Q&A's are on YouTube pretty much. Sometimes they could be my YouTube videos of Q&A's and sometimes they could be Instagram live streams. So that is XPS's Q&A's, I guess. And XPS and SML The Grieving. So there is a plush series by Laughstock Productions called SML The Grieving. It's pretty cool. It's like a darker version of sml i guess you could say and i voice a few characters in it and i've helped out with some stuff in it and i i would recommend it personally i think sml the grieving is cool and now we move on to xbs's first video so there is two videos that are known as my first video there is my first video ever on youtube which i made in 2013 on my first channel it was basically me saying that this was my channel introduction, and also my other video that you guys know as my first video is Luigi's Birthday Bash, no, THE Birthday Bash. That was my first XBS movie, and basically it's just Luigi celebrating his birthday. I don't really remember that much about that video. So that is the two videos that are known as my first videos, and now we move on to XBS diss tracks. So, some people have made diss tracks on me before. I do not know why, but I've listened to some of them. So, I'm guessing XBS diss tracks are about people that have dissed me on YouTube before. Which is kind of interesting and weird. But, Draw My Life. So, in 2020, I attempted to do a Draw My Life video. And it never came to fruition because I couldn't really get it together for some reason i don't really remember why it never came out but i don't really have an interest of doing a draw my life now because i want to focus on plush videos as the main thing and just videos on xps extras of like me giving updates or whatever that's what i'm focused on right now mainly is plush videos in terms of like content creation process so i don't know if the draw my life will ever come out but i tried to make it in 2020 and now we move on to Luigi's birthdays. So every year on January 20th, I make a Luigi's birthday special and it's in honor of the first XBS movie, which was the birthday bash. So every year I just make a reference to Luigi's birthday and I just make a Luigi's birthday video every year. And why January 20th? I don't know. That's the day I just decided to randomly film the first one. It's not really anyone's birthday that I know. And now is Gamus. Gamus is the next thing. So Gamus is Gamus Till. He's this orange dude of a character. And I don't really know what he is, but he's a character in my videos. He's like a cool character and he throws parties. And if there's like a party in an XPS movie, it's most likely like Gamus Till's party. So he's just like a cool type of character that always throws parties all the time. And he's based on a real guy I know named Thomas Gill. And it's, yeah, yeah it's Gomez Till. 
So that's it for surface level. That's it for surface level. Next layer is called shallow water. And the first thing on that is Rick and Morty. So I'm guessing this refers to me using Rick and Morty characters. Yes, I have used Rick and Morty characters on my channel. Mainly you guys know Mr. Me Seeks, but there is a couple videos where Rick and Morty themselves are in the videos. So I do use Rick and Morty characters. I used to like to watch Rick and Morty like a few years ago, but I kind of stopped watching Rick and Morty and yeah, I still think it's decent, but yeah, Rick and Morty characters are in my videos sometimes, mostly Mr. Me Seeks. And now Foxy's lack of appearance. So as you guys know, Foxy doesn't appear in my videos that much and that's for two reasons the first one is that it's kind of hard to think of ideas for some characters and foxy is one of them because the two main things we know about foxy is that he's a pirate and he really loves his girlfriend mangle and that's the two main things we know about him so that's why it's kind of hard to think of ideas for him all the time and plus the other reason he doesn't show up that much is because Freddy, Bonnie, and Cupcake are the trio, like, they're supposed to be the trio, and Foxy only is supposed to hang out with them sometimes. He's like Butters from South Park, because Butters doesn't always hang out with the main four boys, but he's sometimes there, you know? Like, Foxy is not always going to be there, but he's sometimes going to hang out with them when he needs to. So, that hopefully explains about Foxy. And now, XPS Plays. So, XPS Plays was my old gameplay series, and I stopped making XPS Plays because, I don't know, gaming videos, they're not really my cup of tea. Like, if I'm in the mood for games, I would just go and play a video game. I wouldn't really want to watch someone play it unless they have the right amount of comedy. Like, if Let's Plays are done right and they have the right amount of, like, comedy, then they're fine. But... Mostly it's just like, like some Let's Players I guess could be good. I could kind of see why people like them, but if I'm in the mood for a game, I just usually just play a game that ends up being more fun. But I kind of understand Let's Plays. That's why I quit XPS Plays because my main focus on YouTube is making plush videos. That's one of my favorite types of videos, and I just like plush videos. Yeah, I just like plush videos, okay? So, unreleased videos is next. There is a lot of unreleased videos I make. Probably like 50. I don't know if there's 50 or not. Yeah, probably like 50 unreleased videos. Maybe more or less. Um, but if I have an unreleased video, usually I just don't like it. So it ends up being scrapped or unfinished or not uploaded. Because I only ever upload videos that I'm proud of. Like, if I like the video that's when it gets uploaded like if i film a video and i don't really like it it will never see any light of youtube i guess <laughs> so anyways xps beats there's one video on xps extras that is called xps beats part one and i was planning on making a beat series because i was making this beat in garage band one day in 2020 and I posted it to XPS Extras, so I called it XPS Beats 1, and I never made any more after that. So, I guess it's just a unfinished series of beats that I ended up thinking about in 2020. And now, the characters age. So, the characters all have ages, you know? Like, Freddy, Bonnie, and Cupcake, they are all 11 years old. And... Mario, he's like 40. Luigi, he's 35. Um, Peach, maybe in her 20s. Mm, um, Pikachu, also 20s. Dr. Wiseau and Mr. Meeseeks. Maybe Dr. Wiseau and Mr. Meeseeks, maybe they would be like in their 30s. Maybe Dr. Wiseau would be in his late 30s. But that's about the characters' ages. And if you notice... Freddy has been 11 since I started in 2018, and I don't want the characters to age because, like, it's like South Park. The South Park characters have been kids for, like, 25 years, and if Freddy ages, because it starts out with Freddy being 11, so if he aged, he would be 17, and 
Freddy's supposed to be like a little kid character. He's that like out of pocket little kid character that's like a narcissist. So that's how Freddy is like he he would be 17 if he had an age all the time. So that's why the characters don't age is because I like how their ages are at the moment, so they'll be stuck like that forever. It's just it's just one of those things, you know, that's like South Park. And that's it for Shallow Waters. Next up is the next layer, which is the Depths. And the first thing is T-Mac. T-Mac is interesting because T-Mac is my first channel I ever made on YouTube. I made it in 2013, which, yeah, I've been on YouTube for 11 years. That's pretty crazy. So T-Mac is my first ever channel. And the reason why I don't use T-Mac anymore is because I forgot the password in 2014. And plus, T-Mac got deleted a couple years ago for what I could imagine is copyright reasons, because the only bad thing I did on that channel was use copyrighted music, which I know now not to do that. So that's probably why I got terminated. So after I forgot the password in 2014, my second YouTube channel was KFC Yes McDonald's No. I know, that's a weird name, but like how I thought of it was... I like KFC, so I just thought of KFC, yes, and I just randomly thought of the opposite for the next part. The opposite of KFC, yes, would be McDonald's, no, so I guess KFC, yes, McDonald's, no. That's how I got that name. So that's kind of my first two channels. Then after that, I forgot the password and moved to Zeke21Art, and then x Slithers. So that's a brief history of me on YouTube. And now the next thing is Freddy's mom. Freddy's mom has been shown in some XPS movies, but I do think Freddy's dad is just funny on his own, so that's why Freddy doesn't really live with his mom because just Freddy just having a dad is funny cuz just the way Freddy interacts with his dad is just I just like it. And that's why we never see Freddy's mom. We do know who she is. We saw her in a couple videos. A long time ago I don't think we'll ever see her again maybe one day if I get an idea with Freddy's mom so now moving on to did bonnet break up with Mike so this was on here I assume because of Freddy's recording plan because in that video bonnet broke up with Mike and she dated Freddy for a little bit but then Later in that video, like a few minutes later, she got back together with Mike. So Bonnet and Mike are still together. They will always be together because I just think the relationship is perfect. Like, it's just funny because Bonnet and Mike just... Mike is funny because he's based on this person I know's ex-boyfriend who's also named Mike. And the voice is just how I think he would sound like. And the Cool Ranch Dorito Taco thing, that is, that is kind of some truth to that. And that's the whole Bonnet and Mike thing. I like their relationship. And they are not broken up. And now we move on to Jeremy and Zombie Boy 456 Those are two people that used to voice characters in my videos. They are my neighbors. And yeah, they're my friends. And they used to voice characters in my videos. Jeremy used to voice Foxy, Freddy's dad, Mangle, uh, some other characters here or there. I don't remember who Zombieboy456 used to voice, but his name is Tyler, and his YouTube name is Zombieboy456. I don't remember who he used to voice, but anyways, I used to have like a little XPS like crew and cast, I guess you could call it, but it's fine to do videos by myself now because I voice almost everyone and I could kind of get an idea of how I want the videos to be. So it's fun to do videos by myself, but it would also be fun if I still had a crew. But um, I think it's just better because I see the vision of how I want my videos to be like. So I could just capture that better because I don't know. It's just my mind, I guess. So... Anyways, after Jeremy and Zombie Boy 456, we have Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare was an old video. That video I made in 2018, and it was a video of Freddy, Bonnie, and Cupcake playing Truth or Dare and just doing a bunch of stupid stuff. I just remember Freddy eating a piece of moldy bread with, like, glasses on. That's the main thing I remember of that video, so Truth or Dare, pretty old video. 
I don't remember how um, popular it was. Maybe you guys remember it. And that's it for the depths. Now we move on to the next layer, which is the fathoms. And the first thing is XPS's troll channels. So when I was like really young, maybe in 2019 or 2020, I had a few channels I made as a joke or troll, I guess you could say. Like Super Mario Brittany, that was one of them. And there was also... I, the only one I could remember is Super Mario Brittany. I remember telling you guys about these channels in a video. But the only one I remember is Super Mario Brittany. And I know there's like three or four of the joke or troll channels I made somewhere. But yeah, now is XBS Stories. So I don't really know what XBS Stories means. I guess it's because like... Some of my videos are based on true stories. Like Fat Mario, that video was based on a true story because Mario thinks he's chunky and he's fat in that video and it was based on Elena thinking she's fat because there's videos of Elena on her own channel where she's saying that she thinks she's chunky or fat, basically. If I don't feel too chunky, I'll be wearing this in the airport. I am going to get started with my yoga. Hopefully I don't look too chunky in the video, but- And I don't think Elaine is fat, so I made Fat Mario, where Mario thinks he's fat, and then he gets a curse where he turns fat, which is a fat thinker's curse. So, he turns fat, and I got that idea because there was a Fat Mario plush, and Elena thinks she's fat when she's not fat. So that's how Fat Mario came to fruition. It's one of my favorite videos. So, that's one that's based on a true story. Another true story video is Freddy's Invention. I made that video because there was a guy that got into a beef with me because of a video title. Because I filmed Freddy's house party one day, and the next day, this guy, Turbo Toad Productions, he was a plush tuber from the UK, and he uploaded Toad's house party the day after I filmed Freddy's house party. So the next day, I uploaded Freddy's house party. And then he thought I copied Toad's house party. So I made Freddy's invention where Freddy makes a similar invention of Cupcake for a school project. And like, I think Freddy thought Cupcake copied him or something like that. So that's another true story video. I think those are the only two. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, let me know if there's more true story videos I made before. So next we have... Um, Link is no longer in XBS, which is kind of true because I feel like Link is kind of a boring character, so he doesn't really get used that much. He was in Freddy the Judge. That was his last video. But other than that, I don't know if he will ever come back. I just think Link is boring. Like, I don't know how people think of Link, but I don't know. I just don't see the appeal of Link in my videos, so he never gets used. And Freddy's family. So we have saw a little bit of Freddy's family in videos. We saw his dad, obviously. We saw his mom. We saw his grandpa in a few videos. And his uncle Clyde, who is an astronaut. And we saw those characters. And then I did a plush collection video where I showed a couple of these random teddy bears. They might be used as Freddy's family members if I get an idea where Freddy somehow has other family members. So... We have saw a lot of Freddy's family before, the the Fazbear's. So that's it for the Fathoms. Now we have the Abyss as the next layer. The first one being, people always say XBS copies SML. Which, when I first started out, there was a lot of people thinking that I was an SML copier. Which, if I'm a little kid on YouTube, of course I'm going to make similar videos to someone. But, like, nowadays, like, there's still, there's still a little bit of SML DNA in my videos, but I want my videos to feel like their own thing. I think my videos do feel like their own thing, but they do have SML DNA in there. It's like Family Guy and The Simpsons, because Family Guy has, like, a similar main family to The Simpsons, but it still has its own feel. So, it's like the Family Guy thing, and Logan's The Simpsons, and XBS's Family Guy. It's kind of like that. So, firstly, my videos were similar to SML. Now they still are, but, like, I think they got their own identity to them, I guess you could say. 
So next up is XBS and SML. So I guess my relationship with SML over the years. So I found out about SML in 2014. My first video was Junior's Happy Meal. And I instantly started to like SML. I never saw plush videos before. So that was my first experience with a plush video on YouTube. And I eventually watched like the Summer School series and like Shrimpo Hunter and just... It was the golden era of SML, so I found out about SML at a pretty good time, and what I think about modern SML, I think is mediocre. I mean, most of the characters are not really good people anymore, just a few of them remain good, so like, modern SML is mediocre, there's also like, not enough variety, so... The apartment era was good. The apartment era of SML was good. That was my favorite. Like, my top three videos are apartment videos. You could check the SML wiki. So, that is my kind of thoughts on SML. And next up is Thumbnail Community. So, I have a friendship with the SML Thumbnail Community. And they are a group of people on Instagram that make Logan thumbnail ideas. So that's pretty much it. And now we get to the last ever thing on this iceberg, which is another action-packed XBS movie. So there has been a few action-packed XBS movies. There's been Bonus Boyfriend. There's been The UFO, Wario and Waluigi Flee the Country, um, Freddy the Spy, stuff like that. And if I get another idea for the action-packed XBS movie, like if I get another idea... For another action-packed XPS movie, it's going to happen. Like, I do see why you guys like the action-packed videos. I think they're fun. So, maybe there will be another one one day. And yeah, that is the last thing on the iceberg. I don't think I forgot anything. So, that pretty much concludes it. Also, um, if you guys have any video ideas, go submit them to the requests of my website the link is in the description because I don't have that much ideas for XBS and I don't know how long it could keep going because I don't know when I could run out of ideas so if you guys have any video ideas for any character put it in the request form of that website if you guys have ideas but anyways uh, hopefully the iceberg was good hopefully you enjoyed